In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the WRN wave-based PoE NVRs. Here you can see the front and back of the NVR. On the front, we have our power and status lights as well as a USB port. On the back, we have our 8 or 16 PoE ports to connect your camera to, as well as a uplink labeled Network 2, as well as another port on the same switch as the camera subnet labeled Network 1. In addition, we have our USB ports for plugging in things like a keyboard and mouse. We have our alarm input output, and then our HDMI and VGA monitor outputs. So to get things started, after the unit boots up, we're prompted to set a new password for the user. So type in your password, then enter it a second time, and then log in. Then from the desktop, you can click the application icon and you'll see the two wave options here or on the left menu bar. So we're gonna click the wave WRN setup wizard. You have to put in the admin password that you just set up and it launches the wizard. And you'll see there's only a couple easy steps here. First, we're gonna do things like setting the time and date, the format, does it update the clock from the internet, and the AM and PM mode. Then click the apply button and confirm to move to the next step. Then we set the network settings for camera and viewer port or the corporate port, uh, the uplink, and you can put in DHCP or manual. Uh, make sure to put in the subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS appropriately for each interface. Make sure you don't leave the camera or network one port blank. Then, once you've done that for both interfaces, you can then enable the DHCP server on the camera port, the PoE port. Put in the starting and ending IP address for the DHCP server and the maximum number of DHCP users. And then you can also enter in again the DNS. Then hit the apply button to go to the next page. Then the PoE ports are turned on, so you might need to wait a minute for the cameras to boot up before they are displayed here. You'll see it's scanning the network for WiseNet cameras. And there's a note saying, please wait 60 seconds. You might need to, again, give it a minute. You might need to wait and, and scan it a second time because uh, the cameras are now booting up on those PoE ports. Once the search is complete, you should see a list of cameras. You can use the control or shift keys on the keyboard to select multiple cameras at once or do them one by one. If it shows need password, new cameras, you're gonna type in the password that you want to set. It has to be a complex password, and then you hit the set password button. And then we'll go out and push those settings to the cameras. If the cameras that are already configured, put in the username and password and hit connect and then just wait for that to finish and then hit apply to save everything. Then you can go and launch the Wave client. You'll connect to your system and you'll have a wizard to walk through to set up Wave for the first time. And so we're gonna set a uh, system name. We can go to advanced settings and make sure auto discovery is enabled to discover my cameras. Then we configure again a complex password for the Wave system and then we have a confirmation and then in a moment we will see all of our devices show up in the tree here once the cameras show up you'll see there's a lock next to them we need to tell it the password so select all the cameras with the control or shift on the keyboard right click go to camera settings and edit the credentials and put in the password that you set for those cameras once you do that the cameras will connect and be able to be displayed. It takes a minute for that to happen the first time, so just give it a moment. And then you want to enable the NVR IO device, so just click the enable button for that. From there, you can add additional licenses beyond the four channel license that it comes with. And you should always copy or print or export the license key for safekeeping. You can then right click a camera, go to camera settings, configure recording settings, motion detection, and any other settings in the WAVE system like any other WAVE system. You can also check for updates to the WAVE software under System Administration Updates. You can connect a standard client from a Windows PC or a Linux PC or a Mac PC, the WAVE mobile app, WAVE Sync. Uh, and it's also recommended at some point when you're all done, go to System Administration and do a backup, backup your programming so you have a copy for safekeeping. 
and that's it. Your wave system is ready to go. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.